WWE Extreme Rules is going down this Sunday in Philly, and there's a lot on the line for some of the biggest names on the roster. Phenom, the Undertaker, is returning to the ring and teaming up with Roman Reigns. Now, these two take on Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre in a no holds barred tag team match. Now, to help break all this down, we have to bring in CBS Local Sports Wrestling contributor Chuck Carroll to get his insight. Thank you so much for being here, Chuck. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right, Chuck, we have a lot to get into, but first of all, I want to hear your thoughts on The Undertaker and the others in this tag team match. Well, you know, The Undertaker, this is an interesting one. He's always been the fan favorite, and WWE is trying desperately to retain viewership right now. So you bring in a name like The Undertaker, and boom, you've got yourself some magic in the main event. The interesting thing here is that he's coming off one of the worst performances that anybody can recall, recall of his entire career a couple of uh, weeks ago back in Saudi Arabia. So he's looking to redeem himself in the ring, but they're pairing him with Roman Reigns against Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre. What you should look for here is for The Undertaker and Drew McIntyre to really be the focal point of this match because now those two are being advertised locally in Toronto for SummerSlam next month. That hasn't been announced yet on TV, but it certainly seems to be the direction that they're going. And Undertaker also reportedly has hand-chosen Drew McIntyre as one of the people that he would like to work with. So that will be an interesting dynamic. As for the result of the match, look for Roman Reigns and Undertaker to get the win with a little assist from Kevin Owens, who should also be setting up a match with Shane McMahon at SummerSlam. Chuck, another match that we need to get to, too. The winner takes all mixed tag match featuring Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. This one's against Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans. This is the first time both the men's and the women's titles will be on the line in the same match. So is this really a sign of things to come in WWE? You know, here's the funny thing. It's not just WWE. It's it's wrestling as a whole. We just saw an intergender match in one of their rival promotions for the company's main title. So now you have a, another mixed tag match like this in the main event, the co-main event at Extreme Rules. And so, yes, it is a sign of things to come. Does that mean that we're going to see man versus woman in the ring? Not necessarily, but you're going to see mixed tag matches like this. I can't recall uh, ever there being a match where both the men's and women's title has been on the line in the same match, but that's exactly what we have here. And the shock of all shocks would be if Becky and Seth Rollins wind up losing this match. There's no way that WWE wants Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans, talented though they may be, to be the faces of the company. Absolutely, Rollins and Lynch retain here. We've also got the SmackDown and Raw Tag Team Championships up for grab. Daniel Bryan and Rowan will take on the New Day and Heavy Machinery. The Revival faces the Usos. And how are you feeling about the champions retaining in these matches? Well, let's start with the SmackDown Tag Team titles. It's pretty much a lock that Daniel Bryan and Rowan are going to retain there. But I expect that you're going to see a very good showing from Heavy Machinery. They are an up-and-coming tag team that Vince McMahon reportedly is very high on. So watch that. And, of course, Big E and Xavier Woods, very talented veterans there. So you're going to have yourself a pretty good match. Here's the thing, though, with the Raw Tag Team match, right? History is not on the side of the champions the revival. Okay. Four out of the last five times those belts have been defended at the Extreme Rules pay per view, the champions have lost. This dates back before they were even exclusive to the Raw brand. But four out of the last five times, that means they have an 80% chance historically to lose here. I think that history is going to repeat itself. Look for the Usos to come up victorious in this one. Finally, Chuck, is there any match that we haven't talked about that you think could steal the show at Extreme Rules? Oh, absolutely. So you have to look no further than the U.S. title match between Ricochet and AJ Styles. That is a dream match for wrestling fans. And it'll be really interesting, too, what they're doing with AJ Styles now that he's a bad guy again. And you've got Gallows and you've got Anderson into the fray. So it's really going to be a three-on-one match against Ricochet. And so we'll see how strong of a showing that he has. I think that the belt changes hands here, but this absolutely is the match of the night. <laughs> Chuck, thank you as always for speaking with us and you can catch Extreme Rules this Sunday. Katie Johnston for CBS Local Sports.